So you're thinking of moving to the Fort Lauderdale area, but the big question in your mind is where? Where are you gonna wind up? And this is one of the most common uh, conversations we have from people reaching out through the channel. They know that they want to move to the South Florida area. They've heard of Fort Lauderdale, but just not sure of where it is and what it's all about. So today you're in luck. I'm going to be breaking down the entire greater Fort Lauderdale area, show you where all the major cities are, uh, what they're close to, what's around there, so you have a better idea of what to expect when moving down to the Fort Lauderdale area. All right, guys, so let's just dive right into it today. And I can't tell you how common of a question or a concern this is from people reaching out that are relocating. They want to move to the South Florida area. They like Fort Lauderdale or they've heard of it. They're just not sure if it's going to be a good fit for them. So I thought the best thing to do would be to go on a map and show you exactly where everything is. Now, for the record, when people say Fort Lauderdale, to me, that means means the greater Fort Lauderdale area. Now there is a city called Fort Lauderdale, but the greater Fort Lauderdale area encompasses all of Broward County. If you hear someone say Miami metro area, that's really Miami Dade County, Broward County, which is in the middle, which is the greater Fort Lauderdale area, and also Palm Beach County. Southeast Florida really is Miami Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, and a little bit further north um, in here in Southeast Florida. So, you know, a lot of terms thrown around, but for today's purposes and today's video I'm gonna be showing you the greater Fort Lauderdale area which is really Broward County so let's just jump here on a map and I'll show you exactly where this is so if we load up here and we see Broward County pops up and you can see right here where we are this bottom red line here that is the northern tip of Miami and then the top uh, border here that is the southern edge of Palm Beach County. So anything here in Broward County is really considered the greater Fort Lauderdale area. Again, Fort Lauderdale is a city. It is the main uh, attraction, it is our downtown of the county. Um, but for purpose of this video, we're gonna be talking about all of the choices that you have throughout the county because a lot of people that reach out they wind up going to a lot of these other cities, not necessarily Fort Lauderdale. So let's start on the southeastern edge with Hallandale Beach. So it's a first city on the um, east side. This is a beach, obviously Hallandale Beach. This is a beach town and it's really condo living. So if we come really and zoom into um, Hallandale Beach, you're gonna see it's really, uh, let's just pop in to give you a kind of a street view. Now this is the bridge that comes over from 95. You can see the the uh, the tower there, Hallandale Beach. But if you go all the way up down here, Ocean Boulevard, Ocean Drive, um, these are all oceanfront condos. Very, very popular area with uh, people, second homes. Canadians really like this area, a lot of Canadians here in Hallandale Beach, um, but really, really nice area. Now, if we zoom back out and we go to the other side, as we go across to the Western side, another very, very popular um, city is Pembroke Pines. Now, a lot of people um, choose Pembroke Pines. They have great schools. And if they wanna be on the Southern edge closer to Miami, a lot of them wind up down here as well. Now, one of the most popular areas is Silver Lakes. Uh, this is a lot of the western portion of Pembroke Pines. There's a lot of gated communities. So if we kind of uh, go into look at a street view, you can get an idea of what uh, Silver Lakes looks like. This is one of the little developments in Silver Lakes, Emerald Sound. But really, really nice properties, uh, master plan communities. And these go all over, all the way to the western edge in uh, Pembroke Pines. Now, if we go further north uh, on the eastern side, you're going to run into Hollywood. Now, Hollywood is a is a very very diverse area as far as uh, real estate and also things to do. Now, Hollywood has one of the nicest main streets as far as activities and things to do right on Hollywood Boulevard. So, if we kind of zoom in, uh, you can see what this looks like. This is by. Um, Young Circle, which is right back here, which is an arts park, really, really nice. But this whole strip here, Hollywood Boulevard, really, really nice shops, great nightlife. It's almost like a little Greenwich Village, um, you know, so you definitely want to check this area out as far as uh, in Hollywood. Also, Hollywood is one of the more walkable areas, especially around this area. Now, if we zoom into Fort Lauderdale, the first thing you're going to notice here is all of the waterways here. So Fort Lauderdale is known as the Venice of America. Yachting, the boating lifestyle is really what Fort Lauderdale is all about. Also, the beach. Uh, any of these eastern towns, especially Fort Lauderdale, well-known uh, spring break. So this is really the reason that people 
always call and talk about Fort Lauderdale because it's what they know, especially when I moved here, it was the same thing. Another thing, Fort Lauderdale is uh, the hub of everything here in Broward County. It is where our downtown is, so a lot to do here. A lot of people that live in the other cities, they come here for nightlife, entertainment, for eating, uh, a lot of great places to eat, just a lot of really cool uh, things to do in Fort Lauderdale. So if we kind of zoom in, let's try to get a street view. We'll go right on Las Olas right here and you can see how nice this is. So all of these Finger Lakes here with all of these oceanfront homes with these beautiful yachts, they line Las Olas Boulevard going all the way east this way to the beach. And if you go down this way, you're gonna head towards downtown Fort Lauderdale, but really, really a cool place. Um, very versatile as far as the real estate as well. So obviously you can get something like this if you're looking for an oceanfront home or a home that you can park a boat or a yacht like that and get out to the ocean. Also a lot of intracoastal, a lot of oceanfront condos and everything else in between. So that's what Fort Lauderdale is all about, the city of Fort Lauderdale. Now, if we zoom back out and we go a little bit more to the center, uh, and this is where I live, right here in Plantation, which is right here. So this is right directly in the center of Broward County or Greater Fort Lauderdale. It's also really right in the center of all of Southeast Florida. So really, really convenient. People that live here love how easy it is to travel anywhere. You can get anywhere in Southeast Florida very quickly. Um, all the highways are bordered right on uh, plantation. You have 595 goes east and west. That goes to 75 and 95, which go north and south. So great, great location. And for, uh, our plantation has a lot of uh, diverse real estate as well. You can see a lot of green space here. One of the cool areas, again, we're talking about the boating lifestyle is right here, Plantation Isles. Um, you can see the waterways here. Um, only city this far west where you can get a, a home with a ocean access. Now you do have some fixed bridges right here across on 441, um, but uh, it'll take you about 45 minutes to an hour to get out into the open ocean, but uh, you can get something much, much cheaper than say Fort Lauderdale. Now another area that people wind up going to and one of the more popular is Davie, which is right on the border of Plantation or Borders Plantation and goes uh, further west. Um, Davie's very well known for schools, also a lot of parks, and also Davie is an equestrian area. So a lot of these neighborhoods here in Davie, you can have horses and cows and stuff like that. So um, that is right here as you go west. And then as you go further west, you're gonna hit one of the most popular towns or cities um, here in the county, and that is Weston right here. So Weston, um, all of this is a master plan community. Weston is known to be very safe. Weston also has very good schools. And um, another thing about Weston, it is one of the highest price points in the area. So Weston, say Cooper City and Parkland are the three highest, but they also have the best ratings as far as schools and safety. So if we zoom out and we go further north, we're gonna hit another uh, city here that's very, very popular. Uh, with families, a lot of good schools here, and just a lot of different um, options as far as real estate. Very, very popular, the city of Coral Springs. Now you can see this is up in the northwestern corner of the county, uh, which borders Parkland here, which is another area we'll talk about. Um, now Parkland is a very secluded, you know, all of it is pretty much gated on the much higher price point but really, really beautiful houses there in Parkland. Much um, more reasonable as far as prices in Coral Springs. Now, one of the most popular areas in Coral Springs to go is called The Walk, which is right here. So let's go kind of zoom in. You can kind of see what this looks like. It's really a big shopping center along University Drive, which is right here. University goes through up through the entire county. So a lot of this stuff is, um, uh, off of university, but uh, really, really cool this place, the, the walk. Most of the cities here have some sort of a main drag like this where they have a lot of the shopping. Across the street here is the, is the uh, Coral Springs Mall. 
So uh, really, really, this is kind of like the nucleus of Coral Springs. Now, if we zoom out again, and we come here, you see the top right at the border of um, Boca Raton is Parkland. So we just mentioned that that is all pretty much gated luxury neighborhoods. So now if we move over to the eastern side, you'll see the top here, Deerfield Beach, which is the border of Boca Raton. Coming down to Lighthouse Point, Pompano, very, very popular area right now. Um, Pompano is kind of like a little, I would say Fort Lauderdale. Um, a lot of people are liking Pompano. They're doing such an amazing uh, amount of work and revitalization all along the pier, all the way down Atlantic, all the way to 95, but really, really, really exciting stuff going on down in Pompano. And you could also see all of the waterways here. So Pompano is another area uh, where people gravitate to that want to be on the eastern side, live that eastern lifestyle. And also if they have a boat, want to do some boating, all of this here is all ocean access. East of US-1, no fixed bridges at all. So very, very highly coveted real estate. And again, at one point down by the, um, the pier was not really nice, but within the last couple of years, they've really revitalized all of this. Now we can see here right on the pier, this is all brand new. Really, really cool. This goes at like 900 feet out into the water. And then as you go a little bit this way, you're gonna be heading um, basically towards uh, A1A and Ocean Boulevard where a lot of all the activity is happening. So really, really cool uh, what's going on here in Pompano. And you can see it from an overhead view. All of this is all redone. Brand new, new parking structures as well. It used to be very hard to park down there. So very exciting what's going on in Pompano. One of the most popular destinations from people that are reaching out. Now, if you go a little bit further south, one of my favorite areas, a little smaller, and that's really what uh, gives it its charm, is just south of Pompano, and that is going to be Lauderdale by the Sea, which is right here. Now, Lauderdale by the Sea is really, really cool because they have an ordinance in place that you cannot build um, tall buildings. So a lot of the buildings are very, very small, no more than four stories. So this is a pier um, right here, and this is Atlantic. So if you go further this way, this whole strip right here, uh, you can see from the top, all of this right here at night, all of these, uh, all of these bars and cafes are all open. They have live music. I think it's November through March live music, live entertainment every single night. So a really, really cool place to be. Uh, let's see if you can kind of see it. It was been under construction for a long time, but right here, oh guys, all of this really, really cool. It's like a little village. Um, one of my favorite, favorite towns in all of South Florida. Um, you definitely want to come here, even if you're visiting uh, at night. Really, really cool. This place is really, really alive. And again, as you go a little bit further east, you're going to hit um the promenade here and eventually you will be out into the ocean where we started aruba is another cool place right on the ocean incredible place to go so lighthouse point highly recommend now as we move further down south actually we're back to fort lauderdale but one place i forgot to mention that i definitely want to talk about because is these i'm going by the places that are most popular from people that are moving here or reaching out and this is going to be cooper city um, really the reasons these are the most popular is families are always concerned about schools and things like that. So Cooper City, along with Weston, along with Coral Springs, along with Davie, Parkland, all have the highest ratings as far as schools and also they're the most safe and they all have the most gated community. So one of the reasons why people uh, really gravitate towards these areas. So one of the most popular areas of Cooper City, and just to show you, again, let me zoom back out here, uh, just to show you Cooper City, where it is actually located in the county, which is really pretty central as well. So very, very convenient as far as travel to Miami, also up to Palm Beach. But one of the areas of Cooper City, very, very popular is called Monterra. Uh, so these homes look like Mediterranean style homes 
Um, you know, you gotta like what they look like because they all kind of look similar, but this is one of the most popular neighborhoods in all of Cooper City. All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap it up right there. Hopefully this gives you a very good overview of what you can expect as far as all of the cities and choices throughout Greater Fort Lauderdale on the channel. We have videos in detail uh, regarding all of these that we spoke about today, all of the cities, Davy Weston, Cooper City, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, uh, Coral Springs, Parkland, Weston, all of them. So you can get much more information. It goes much more in depth prices, things like that. If you have any questions about any of these areas, if you want to get information on available real estate prices, reach out anytime. I'd love to be your real estate resource if you're thinking of moving to relocating to South Florida, or if you're here already and have a place that you're looking to sell, reach out anytime. All my information is down below, and I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.